Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Plus. Today we're featuring Sylvan Manor. Let's check out the map. Here we are at Sylvan Manor. To our north is Windhelm. To our east is Shore Stone. And to our west is Nilheim. And here we are again at Sylvan Manor. When you arrive, you'll need to defeat a Spriggan named the Guardian and an evil wizard named Eldril. After defeating them, make sure to check Eldril's inventory. He has boots that can make you 5% faster, robes that can help you resist 50% of poison damage and add 150 to your armor rating, and a staff that does 20% of swarm damage, like a Spriggan. Now that we've turned that page, let's check out our new place. Here is Clear Spring Tarn. I have Ducks and Swans 2 installed, so that's why I have ducks swimming around. And that blue light being emitted is from the mod Sky Shards. If you haven't tried that mod, I highly recommend it. There are 108 of those spread across the map, and every three that you find gives you an additional perk point. There is an archery target added by our home, and as we turn around, we can now admire our new home, Sylvan Manor. It's built around a Gildergreen tree, much like the one that you have to restore outside of Whiterun's Temple of Mara. Out front, you have 10 fertile soils to plant whatever you want. And check out that attractive ivy on the outside of the home. As we approach the front door, you may notice that you can look right into it. That's because it's a no-load door home, so you can look in and out of the doorways and the windows into the world space. That's one of my favorite features. And when you first enter the home, you have the Shrine of the Raven, which adds 10% to your archery damage and 10% to your sneak. You also have some thematic art posted, and that beehive is usually hanging up, and it will be when you reload the home. In the corner, we have an alchemy lab, with named storage for ingredients, potions, and poisons. And they even mounted a picture of your next boyfriend or girlfriend if you don't like this video and subscribe. Just kidding, but really, if you like this content, you should consider doing both. And here is the Shrine of the Matron. Activating it makes you move 10% faster, and your health and stamina regenerate 10% faster, too. You also have 18 more soils, giving you 28 total. Let's go see what the rest of this level has to offer. That beehive that's on the ground will hang back up when you reload, and there is some more themed art. We'll head up those stairs in just a moment, but first, we need to head down this hallway, and towards the end of the hallway, you have some bookshelves for the bookworms of Skyrim. That one was for you, Ryantium. Wish you were still making videos. We passed a display case on our way out to see our new sauna. That's a nice place to relax after a hard day of adventuring. And on the other side of this door, we have a waterfall that you can use to bathe with. I need to go wash the slime off from battling Eldred, that evil wizard. Much better. Now that I'm so fresh and so clean clean, let's go upstairs and see what the second level has to offer. This mod author, P Nubs, or maybe it's just Nubs, I don't know if the P is silent. He has two other unique home mods too, so if you like this one, you may want to check out those. Starting on the second level, we have a couple of mannequins, and in the corner you have an arcane enchanter and named storage for soul gems. And look at the skeleton candles, that goat that's seen better days, and the string of bones. He's really trying to make the design more ominous. There are some more weapons plaques, before we discover our very own Staff Enchanter. Those are fairly rare in home mods, so the fact that we have one in a no load door home makes it even more rare. I definitely appreciate that. You have a couple of more mannequins, and now let's head down the hallway, where we have some more weapons plaques. And you can see that slime from where I battled Eldril. You may want to clean off this display before using it. To the left, we have a bookshelf. Nothing much else is really down that direction, so we'll go ahead and focus on the right, where you have another bookshelf, but ultimately it leads you to the staircase to go up to the third level. And on our third level, we have some harvestable ingredients, a cooking pot, a nice warm fire, and an oven. And there's another bookshelf and a small dining table. Now let's go see the real highlights of this level, which are outside. Now let's close this door. And we have an Indiana Jones style bridge. And if we turn to the right, you can see some Spriggan statues by the waterfall. We'll get a closer look at that in a second. First, let's check out our full smithing suite, starting with a grindstone, forge and anvil, tanning rack, name storage for pelts, 
You also have a smelter named storage for ingots and ore. There's your workbench. And then you have a weapons rack too. Okay, now that we've seen the full smithing suite, let's get a closer look at those Spriggan statues. The mod author really went to the extra mile to make this place feel unique. And look at the way the light is perfectly reflecting off of the water. And look at those clouds. Isn't Skyrim beautiful? If we come over here, we've got an excellent view of Windhelm and the Sea of Ghosts. And we can stand on the ledge of our deck and yell, I'm the king of the world! Like Jack from Titanic or Michael Scott from The Office. Continuing on, we have these cute little barrels that hold these ferns, an observation deck, and then look at this, you've got dining for four, and you can just see the light peering through the mountains. And look at that pinkish hue in the sky. Wow. Okay, as we turn around, we have a little gazebo-like area, and you can actually enter the home from this way too. So if we come over here and we look down where the path is, if you come down towards the tarn, you can actually enter on this level and be closer to the bedroom area. Or you can enter the way we did and be closer to the crafting. So it's really just up to you. Okay, let's go inside of this area and see what we have. Through the doorway, you can see your wood chopping block and a different vantage point of the Spriggan statues. And then we'll enter that kitchen area that we already saw earlier. And so we'll head out this door and that'll lead us to our stairs to go to the next level. But this next level is just kind of like a fake level. It's kind of like a turn back on a mountain that's necessary to make the trajectory for the next floor to work with the tree. So when we come up this way, this is our true next level. And then you've got a display case, a weapons plaque. You've got a mounted bear over there, another display case. You can see that this tree is really built in to the home giving you that buy-in that it really is the Gilder Green. And then you've got your bar area for entertaining up here. Looks like you've got some wine. Look at those cool blue lamps. You can have some mead, maybe play some instruments to entertain your friends and grab a bird's egg while you're at it. All sorts of options on this floor. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, here's our stairs to go up and I believe this is the final level of the home. Yes, it is. Okay, so on this level, we'll start with this little display area to the right. You've got a display case, a mounted guitar, and then a bookshelf. You can think of those flowers as like the bookends. You've got a couple of weapons plaques, an end table, a strong box, some weapons plaques, a bed, and then a mannequin, a dresser, another mannequin, and then here's your shrine of Kinnereth with a little table that it's on top of for storage. And then you can see the tree really permeating through the deck on this top level. And you can check out the blooms of the tree. It just looks beautiful up here. As we round this corner, we double check to make sure that we finished. And yes, we have. And that just leaves us with this small table for two with an excellent vantage point of the sun setting over Skyrim. With that being said, let's cover some final thoughts. Sylvan Manor is a well-organized no-load door home. It offers all expected crafting and adds a staff enchanter, custom shrines, lots of name storage, amazing views, and a cool way to acquire it, having to defeat a wizard in a spriggan. The gear you collect from him is nothing to sneeze at either, so needless to say I really like this one, and I hope you liked it too. This concludes our tour of Sylvan Manor. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. To see more of my past tours, click the playlist on the top left. To see my future content, click the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. And to never miss an episode, click the bell icon to receive notifications of when I post. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.